Let me ask a very simple question. Does it concern you that the government is spying on you? 30 years ago, to even ask this question would have been a scandal. If you lived through Watergate, if you read the church committee reports, you know the costs of unchecked government surveillance. The government is exploiting our amnesia. We did not pass the Fourth Amendment in order to protect those with something to hide. We passed that amendment which prohibits general warrants or limitless surveillance because we know all too well the cost of an unaccountable government. The question is not, do you have something to hide? The question is whether we control government or the government controls us. Especially you, you younger writers, that you can be critical of your government and your society. You don't have to fit in. It's fashionable now to take shots at Republicans and Trump and all that and avoid the Obamas and Clintons. But remember this, in the 13 wars we've started over the last 30 years and the $14 trillion we've spent and the hundreds of thousands of lives that have perished from this earth, remember that it wasn't one leader but a system, both Republican and Democrat. And call it what you will, the military, industrial, security, money, media, complex, it's a system that has been perpetuated under the guise that these are just wars justifiable in the name of our flag that flies so proudly over our lives. Our country has become more prosperous for many, but in the name of that wealth, we cannot justify our system as a center for the world's values when we continue to create such war and chaos in the world. Uh, no need to go through the victims, but we know we've intervened in more than 100 countries with invasions, regime change, economic chaos, or hybrid war, soft power, whatever you want to call it, it's war of some kind. In the end, it has become a system leading to the death of this planet and the extinction of us all. I fought these people who practice war most of my life. It's a tiring game, and mostly you'll get your ass kicked. And with all the criticism and the insults that you'll receive, and the flattery too, it's important to remember, if you believe in what you're saying and you can stay the course, you can make a difference. I urge you, I urge you to find a way to remain alone with yourself. Listen to your silences, not always in a writer's room. Try to find not what the crowd wants so that you can be successful, but try instead to find the true inner meaning of your life here on earth and never give up on your heart in your struggle for peace decency, and telling the truth. Thank you. Uh, so what do you think that, that we can do as people interested in this kind of muckraking journalism and exposing the crimes of the American empire and fighting for justice? You have the worst media in the world. I think on, in France, you could get it on the air on mainstream media, in Russia, in Italy, in many countries of the world, not in China, not in the USA. Since uh, Ronald Reagan, it's gotten worse and worse and worse. I'm quite shocked at the movement, uh, the overall social attitude of America. Uh, I think the, the solution to what you say are, sh are programs like yours. There are many uh, underground type shows that are on the Internet, and I think it's crucial we stay with the Internet as much as we can, although I worry about that now with the crackdown on Facebook and the crackdown by Twitter, I, I, I'm concerned about their, their, what their sense of censorship is. We need to have a broad spectrum of thought, criticism. Concepts have to be broached. You have to be able to criticize your country. Otherwise, uh, your country will go on its own sick path. It won't even consider alternative scenarios, alternative ways of thinking. Why are we into a, a war state? We are in a war state for how many years? And we've accepted this forever war since 2001, since Mr. Bush uh, Jr., whatever, put us on this path of uh, war on terror. We haven't been able to question it. This is all wrong. 
Is there anything that gives you hope for pushing back against the permanent war? The fact of pushing back in itself, the resistance itself, you have to make the effort. You may not feel like it's going to be worth it, but you must make the effort. Without that effort, we're, we have nothing. We're a nation of sheep. Remember, this struggle is part of who we are as a people. This country was born in rebellion because the British government was exerting too much control over American lives. We broke free and began to create a system of government meant to protect liberty. Our national history reveals a constant struggle to stay true to this value. We face one of those moments of struggle right now. I won't stand idly by while our civil liberties are eaten by the NSA surveillance machine. You shouldn't either. Thank you.